game. Bills led at it nine thing early. Casey scored 38 of the next 44. They won going away. Josh Allen got some revenge week five of last year with an 18 point win at Arrowhead, which is Mahomes' largest career home loss, including playoffs. Allen threw for 315 and three touchdowns, added another on the ground. And then, of course, in the playoffs, this might have been as good a football playoff game as there has been in the sport in the last decade. Allen throwing two go go ahead touchdowns in the final two minutes. You already know the story. They left 13 seconds on the clock. That was enough for Mahomes and company. Kansas City got, got the win. Buffalo continues to feel the, the frustration. And there are the picks for this Sunday. And as you can see, we are, we are split down the middle. Ryan Clark, you like Kansas City Sunday at home. Why? I think when you look, you look at this team, they're just fi finding ways to win. Go back to the Las Vegas Raiders game. You're down 17 -0. This team doesn't blank. And now you see Patrick Mahomes utilizing all of the different tools at his disposal, making sure that Travis Kelsey is huge in the red zone. But it's MVS, it's Juju Smith-Schuster, it's McCole Hartman, even Jet McKinnon, McKinnon out of the backfield, who is the third running back. I think offensively we found that this team can do whatever they want. And defensively, they're finding ways to create pressure and playing better on the back end with linebackers that run side to side. And psychologically, I believe the Kansas City Chiefs know how important this game are. This game is. They know that the Buffalo Bills are still nipping at their heels, and they have that want and that angst to get that one win, not only for, for a future home field advantage or to think that they can one day host the AFC Championship in Kansas City has to come to them, but for the mentality, for the mindset of understanding we are finally here. here. Patrick Mahomes, is it still just one play better? Is it just one uh, one? drive better, that, that we are the team now, now in the AFC that is slated to represent us. And until they get that, that win, I, I don't know if they believe, but I know that Kansas City won't believe that they can lose until it happens, and I think that confidence wills them at the end in a very close game. Brooke, that's why, and you're on the Chiefs as well. That's why I find this game so fascinating, because there's the big picture and the little, little picture. The little picture, believe it or not, is where might the AFC Championship game be played, which is obviously a very important thing, but the bigger picture, the psychological piece of it, actually might be more, more important between these teams. Yeah, look, I'm going with the Chiefs, and maybe it's a heart pick over my head pick. Piece, the, the piece of, I mean, RC said a, said a great point, and Kansas City's used, used to winning, winning these games. But Buffalo understands how important this game is, just like Kansas City, but also Buffalo has a better defense at this point, right? Even without Michael Parsons, their defense is still playing well. I guess you, I understand you can say lesser opponent in Pittsburgh. I get that. Uh, but, I, but I'm just saying, man, both the quarterbacks are relatively evenly matched. Buffalo knows how important the game is. I think it's going to be a close game, mm -hmm. obviously, but I just feel like it's a game where Buffalo says we've we got to find a way to win this one. But even though we win this one, we've got to win again when it really matters. And, and Ninko, I wanted you to make the point, point for anyone who wasn't with us yesterday, and I just want to watch RC react as you say it. The significance of the AFC Championship game and how challenging it is to go to Buffalo if KC winds up having to go there for the AFC Championship game because of the facilities they provide for the visiting team. <laughs> RC, RC knows how terrible so the visiting trash. locker room is in Buffalo. <laughs> it, so it is trash. disgusting. There is one toilet. Like it's a game where Buffalo says we got to find a way to win this one. But even though we win this, one, we got to win again when it really matters. And, and Ninko, I wanted you to make the point for anyone who wasn't with us yesterday. And I just want to watch RC react as you say it. The significance of the AFC championship game and how challenging it is to go to Buffalo if KC winds up having to go there for the AFC championship game because of the facilities they provide for the visiting team. <laughs> RC, RC knows <laughs> How terrible so the visiting trash. locker room is in Buffalo. <laughs> it so is trash. disgusting. There is one toilet. There's one toilet for the whole team. So there's a line of dudes before the game that are nervous, that are getting ready to go play football, and they have to go use it. And there's a line. It's disgusting. There's showers. There's showers that half of them don't work. The drains don't work. Oh so you're gosh. standing in four inches of other people's bath water. It's disgusting. They can paint it as much as they want. They can change out the carpet, but they can't change the bones 
of that stadium on the inside. <laughs> it's bad. The visiting locker room is bad. It's disgusting. It's one of the worst. You don't want to go there. It's it, it, Listen, they have a home field advantage, not only because the fans are awesome and they're, they're crazy, but the home the home field locker room, the, the away locker room is disgusting. You need to have a like a like you just need to take a Clorox wipe and spray yourself down when you leave that locker room. It's gross. I, I, I will just say this. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes needs to win this game just to avoid that locker room in late January. That, that If that's not all the motivation that you need, it certainly would be all the motivation I need. So we are split down the middle on one of the biggest games of the year. In the meantime, DraftKings Sportsbook predictions are brought to you by DraftKings. And here's today's question. And Sam Atro, it is for you. Which quarterback will account for more touchdowns, meaning passing and rushing? Will it be Allen? or Mahomes. I'll go with Josh Allen on this one. The, the Chiefs defense ranked number 14th. Buffalo's defense ranked number one, at least top for number one in certain categories. We know the big playability from Josh Allen, but also his ability to use his legs to be able to make people miss and break tackles. Mahomes can run it as well. I'm picking Allen on this one. Brooke Pryor, who's going to have more receiving yards? Will it be Stephon Diggs or Travis Kelsey? Oh, it's got to be Travis Kelsey if the Chiefs want to have a chance of winning this game. And I, I think that he will. To what Philadelphia does? No, no. Philadelphia got to adapt to what we do. We get after the quarterback. We have linebackers that run sideline to sideline. We have a shutdown corner on the outside. We got three safeties that move all around and play high-level ball. This is what Demarcus Lawrence should be thinking. It's what Michael Parsons is thinking. It's what Trayvon Diggs is thinking. And when they stay up on the field, and then when they get into state stadiums, they said yesterday they are looking at the 85 Bears. They're looking at the 2000 Baltimore Ravens. They're looking at the 2002 Buccaneers team. And they're talking to Dan Quinn about how these shutdown defenses took teams to Super Bowls. And that's what's different about this Cowboy team. It's not about the glitz and the glamour and the money that's on the offense. It's about the young guns and the guys guys that are hunting defensively and I love this outlook from Demarcus Lawrence now when you talk about it you got to be about it you got to go out there and back it up and you can believe that Jalen Hurts who was a guy who we saw last week and talking about the Arizona Cardinals make sure the Arizona Cardinals were mentioned in what they could present in competition or opposition of the Philadelphia Eagles so he plays the game a different way media wise but D-Law plays it how they played at the Dallas Cowboys he plays it how they played at the White House He's saying, we're right here, we're front and center, you got to come see us, and I love, I love it, I love it. Brooke Pryor, what do you think? I think Demarcus Lawrence just went to Walmart, bought a big poster board, and got the paint, and just like did some arts and crafts himself. I mean, <laughs> what, what more do you need if you're Philadelphia, if, if you're if you're Jalen Hurts, to hear that and say, oh, you don't you don't believe in me? Okay, fine, fine. But look, I mean, this is a really good Dallas defense. I agree with the crux of what he's saying. I would not have said it that way. But look, this defense—they beat Stafford, they beat Burrow, even Tom Brady didn't look good. This is, I think, Jalen Hurts' best case to show that he is a legitimate, more, more not, not maybe top, top tier quarterback, but he is right there. He is he's knocking on the door of that next level. To me, it says, you know what, this 5 0 start wasn't a fluke. Look at how, how I did against one of the league's best defenses. What do you think, Ninko? I think uh, Kelsey, Jason Kelsey, is going to walk into the offensive line room. He's going to put up on the chalkboard exactly what Lawrence said. He's going to say, listen, this is the guy that we need to get after. We're going to have to smear him in the ground. Whatever we got to do, we got to get after this defense. Because this is, this is almost like, like the lead up to a, a, a big fight, you know, a UFC or a boxing fight. There's, there's going to be some back back and forth. But just like what RC, RC was talking about, about if you talk this way, you got to be able to back it up. So we're going to find out who the better team is. And I don't, I don't think either of these teams have faced a defense or an offense as potent. So it's going to be an awesome like with a groin injury. So for me, if I'm, if I'm DeMarcus Lawrence,